on the Radio 1 Indie Show and let's do Next Wave Next Wave if you want to discover your new favourite band on the show Next Wave is the most likely moment that you're going to do that and tonight it is all about a band called Somebody's Child the Irish scene right now is kind of ridiculous When Young Inhaler Girl Band Fontaine's DC Silverbacks probably right out there at the front of it all Dermot Kennedy and now a new voice is emerging in Somebody's Child. We are going to be speaking to Kian, who is Somebody's Child, after we've heard the track. Hold me like you wanna. Somebody's Child, my next wave tonight. Next wave. next wave on the Radio 1 Indie Show Somebody's Child and Hold Me Like You Wanna Kian who is Somebody's Child on the phone with us right now to talk us through the track and mate um, the track has plenty of like Springsteen War on Drugs a little bit of a, like a Britpop feel in the chorus as well there's loads of heritage to this song I mean as an artist Kian and listening to your other stuff you know you're, you're very uh, empowered and very outspoken as well on, on certain subjects 
what is Hold Me Like You Wanna about? Hey Jack, how are you? Thanks for having me on, man. Um, yeah, I mean, those are really cool influences um, and certainly people that I do look up to. To me, it's, an, it's, an, it's a nostalgic song. It's, it's taking it back to a time when, you know, you were in a better place with this particular person. In my head, it's, it's, it's a friend, but I guess that's up to the listener to choose. I mean, with the world as it is now, I think for art in general and for this conversation, specifically songwriting, do you feel like this is a big opportunity to potentially make a stand as an artist? A hundred percent. I mean, I think, you know, you got to take the positives and everything. I think it's important not to, not to get yourself down. Like we've, we've had a, we've had a, a, a string of, you know, bad news over the last while, but, um, but I mean, you can, you can take what you want from it. And we've written a load and we're starting to write in a particular style that I think is, is, is reflected in, in this upcoming EP of ours, 20 something. And I think that We'll go down really well with with certain people. To me, I've, I feel like I've opened myself up a lot more in the last while. Our five previous singles have been a little bit all over the place, I suppose, um, in in terms of of styles, and that's because I listen to so many different styles. And my band is made up of so many different um, people from different backgrounds of music. And I think now we finally found some sort of home. And in, in, I guess what you were saying with the likes of the Cure was a big one for this particular EP, and 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 some other Brit pop kind of influences. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm really happy with how it turned out. Well, the new EP that you can find Hold Me Like You Wanna on 20-something is coming 7th of August. And when I listened to it, because I've been lucky enough to get a little sneaky peek on it, it it did sound very diverse to me. But it was all very much intertwined, like it was woven together and they all made sense when listening chronologically or, you know, all over the place. Like the songs felt like they were meant to be together. Can you kind of give us an idea, though, in that more diverse sense of of your upbringing musically and, and what's perhaps inspired you to get to this point? Before I go on to that, I'd just like to say I'm glad that you actually just, you, you found that in the songs because I think they all have their own independent meaning, but together, collectively, I think it, it has its own meaning in itself. But musically, myself, I've actually come from um, a bit of a strange background. Like, I was brought up on classical piano, and I didn't really like it for a long time. I didn't really find my home in music till I turned about 16 or 17, and people started introducing me to kind of Indian rock music. I learned a lot from my friends, I'd, I'd have to say, more so than more so than anything else. And I've learned a lot from writing songs itself. I mean, just being able to, you know, in the beginning, put four chords together and and make a song out of that. That was, you know, that was kind of one of those epiphany moments where, where you think, you know, it's all kind of coming together for you. People are listening to way more music than they were ever able to before. It's not as if you go to your to your local record store, you buy one record with all the money you have, and you know you listen to that one record, and that influences everything you do. Now it's you can take from anything you want, and it's all kind of at the click of a button. The challenge is just to you know get out there and actually listen to it, and, and not just just be stuck on one or two artists. Well, Kian, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Uh, what you're doing is really exciting, and and I'm looking forward to the EP 20 something is coming 7th of August. Everyone, thanks a lot, Kian. Jack, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. That was tonight's Next Wave on the Radio 1 Indie Show, Somebody's Child, and Hold Me Like You Wanna. Next Wave.